Hi, my name is Tina. I've been coming to Westgate about 11 months. Before coming here, I, um, I grew up in a childhood environment where we believed in God and um, we would say prayers occasionally, but it was never like a family practice. Also, my childhood was pretty traumatic. There were some incidences where I felt, um, you know, so afraid and scared, and yet I always had, I always had like a belief or a knowing that God was there and and hope and faith. Um, now I, I'm a, a mother of three. I've been married for almost 30 years. Um, I have such a blessed life, and all throughout raising my children, I never developed the connection to church. And it bothered me, and at times I would try to, you know, go and visit a, a service, but I never really felt quite connected. I felt kind of confused or just um, it never became part of my routine. Around the time of October, I had lost a dear friend. Um, I went to his service, and the pastor, Fred Hennis, had written a book, Choosing Heaven. And they, they gave copies of the book, and I took it home, and I read it. And then I remembered that I had saved, when my father-in-law passed away, I saved a book where he, um, that he had read, and it was called The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. And reading those two books and getting inspired, um, I remembered that I had visited Westgate for a different um, loved one's funeral and it felt so warm here and just um, comfortable. Not too big, not too small. I thought, I'm going to give it a try. And I came and I was welcomed and uh, people just immediately were greeting me and, and made me feel um, connected and I just kept coming and, and, and kept um, looking into things. I joined the women's Bible study and uh, learned a lot from the women's Bible study, and then I learned about Alpha. Came to a part in my life where I realized I do so many things based, you know, working as a nurse, it's evidence-based research, and um, you, you do things uh, for a reason, and I thought, I've been a Christian all this time just by word of mouth, you know? Someone told me when I was itty-bitty baby to believe in God, and so I did, and I didn't know why, but I just really wanted answers, and I wanted community with other Christians. Alpha was wonderful. It really, uh, it, it, it was a little intimidating at first because you're, you know, all these strangers, you don't know what you should say, what you shouldn't say. Maybe a couple times I shared a little too much or not enough, I don't know, but it was okay. It was always, um, it was always welcome. You would consider questions like, is Jesus real? Is the devil real? Um, why should we pray? Why, you know, why should we believe in him? what happens when we start following him. Um, and so it welcomed a lot of questions and questions I didn't even know I had. And that was a beautiful thing. And it led me to um, want to be an example for my family, to be a stronger person for myself, to have a, a stronger faith and keep searching and reading. And you start to feel stronger and equipped to, to be out in the world until our Savior comes for us one day.